We choose him to make sure the funny is the funniest. We choose him. The him being Bert Kreischer back here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Bert? Dave Magadan. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. I told you. By the way, I told you. That is, you've been waiting. How you've been waiting like two, like years, two years to correct the record. <laughs> Let's start off our interview hitting the way back machine. Tell me the story you told me uh, with Don Mattingly at the center of it. Instead of By Dave way, Magadan. Go I'm f- so guilty of this all throughout life. One time I told my wife I almost got in a fight with a guy who looked like Louis C.K., but instead of saying Louis C.K., I said Louis Anderson. <laughs> such a less impressive story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're not wrong. Sometimes facts matter. So oh. so what's the story again, Bert? I forget it a little bit here. Remind me. Scott Bobeer got in trouble. <laughs> in high school and we had to run something called player appreciations during our uh, lunch period or or homeroom or whatever. So we go out to the field and at the field was Fred McGriff. And I I almost did it again. I want to say Don Mattingly, but it's Dave Magadan (laughs) who had gone to Jesuit and we're jogging and they're (laughs) taking BP and Dave (laughs) Magadan hits a dot. And it hit Bo Beer in the back of the in the back of the just back, and he just hits the ground hard. Right. And he's like, "Oh my god!" And we turn around, and they're like, kind of laughing, but they're like, "Sorry, sorry, guys." And we're like, "Oh my god!" And we're like, "I can't believe you got hit." And he's like, "I know, crazy." And we turn around, we start to keep jogging, facing the outfield, and he gets hit again. And we turn around, and he's like, "I told you I could do it." <laughs> <laughs> Now, I thought it was Don Mattingly, which is such a better story. It was Dave Magadan. <laughs> so Dave Magadan was purposefully, with Fred McGriff maybe egging him on, aiming for you in the outfield is what you're saying. Aiming for us, going opposite field. Hey, listen, anyone's, anyone that can go opposite field, I'm very impressed by. What's interesting <laughs> about this story is I knew, I said Don Mattingly, and you lit up, and I was like, wow, that's so odd that he's a big Don. I'm thinking Dave Magadan in my head going, I mean, he had a career, but it wasn't, like, no. through the roof. No. <laughs> and you're like, that is my favorite player. I'm like, did you go to Jesuit high school, too? Like, <laughs> and the second I get home, I call. I get calls from Bo Beer, who's like, it was Dave Magadan. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Yes. So, and you. That's and, like saying and, I hung out and partied with Daniel Craig, but instead it was Jenny Craig. And you're like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a big difference. There is there is a big difference in all that. Oh my gosh! Did so? Did you play ball when you were younger, Bert? Did you actually? Yes. Oh, by the way, yes. And can I tell you? Please. I've come upon a realization yes. when it comes to sports. Now I fell out of love with baseball. I was a big baseball player. Got recruited to go to a couple of colleges. Went to walk on to Florida State. Played literally one day and then walked off and was like, I'm going to do drugs. And so I literally, by little did I know, I could have done both. <laughs> Mark McGuire. Now, so um, I did, I fell out of love with baseball, and I'm watching Ken Burns' baseball documentary on yes. CBS. Yes. And I'm looking at videos from, like, the 80s when I was in love with it. And I'm like, why isn't baseball as sexy as back then when you'd watch plays of the week, you know, this week in baseball. Oh, yeah. Why isn't it? And I came to a realization. It's the same reason that I now love porn. Is back <laughs> then when I was a kid, I could watch those baseball things and those baseball plays and go, I'll be doing that this weekend on the Little League Diamond. The same way I look at porn, I go, I'm going to do that at home. <laughs> now I watch baseball. I go, I can't do any of that. I'll never do that. There's no connection with the art. Like, I don't get to go out and dive into a diamond like Ozzy Smith. I'm out of it. So that's my realization. Yes, I did play baseball. Well, <laughs> <laughs> a simple question uh, that led to some, some of me recalling my innocent times of watching, like, the baseball bunch, you know, with Johnny Bench. And, oh. and, then, and, then, you, and then you go all, you know, uh, all porn industry on me right there. Um, so it, giving, I guess, new meaning to triple play, Bert, right, is what yeah. you're saying? Oh, dude, I, I mean, every kid, anyone listening right now that's a baseball fan knows that and when you watched Pete Rose slide into third base, that one memorable slide into yes. third base. Yep, where head he first. Got, you could just go, you could go to your backyard, fill the backyard up with water, and go do PDs yourself. 
Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.